Southern Queensland Landscapes has been engaged by the Australian Government um, through the Regional Land Partnerships Program to work with landholders across the Darling Downs on the remnants of the natural grasslands. This includes reducing threatening processes and working with landholders to improve practices across the landscape. Well today we're doing some fire workshops for the community and a number of communities within this region here, Southern East Queensland. The fire workshops are a really important source of just awareness and giving people of all walks of life and different occupations an opportunity to see the land in a way that Indigenous people have been managing landscapes for thousands of years. It's not just about just Indigenous land management here, it's about working from a practical knowledge base that has been looking after this country for a long time and with the devastating fires and the continuous threat fire is having on our environment and the fear it's casting upon our communities. It's really crucial that we're able to provide hope and a way forward in managing landscapes into the future. These workshops are so important to get the ball rolling so that people can get the idea and the awareness around the importance of this that hopefully will lead into training programs and getting the fire programs happening out on the community and into the environment. Jimba Station here, it's four and a half thousand hectares. It comprises of two and a half thousand acres of cultivation and the rest is natural grassland pastures country. Jimbo Station is important. They've got significant remnants of natural grasslands remaining across the region. The property is really well managed and they're quite progressive in their thinking of how they can manage different threatening processes that are impacting the natural grasslands of the area. The key things for me, just the timing and the holistic approach of what the indigenous people have been doing for thousands of years. I mean, they seem to get it right. It is a country that tells us what to do. It's the country that tells us when to burn and understanding the trees and all the soils and the different ecosystems is key to burning the right way. And for a lot of the old people that have mentored me and Aboriginal people within Australia, we read country. And reading country is a crucial part of fire management. Through the Natural Grasslands Project, we're working with landholders to change their management practices and work on reducing threatening processes to the special ecosystems of the native grasslands across the Darling Downs. We've had high interest from landholders across this region for a number of reasons. Fire, in particular, is a cost-effective tool to manage these systems appropriately and effectively and have some high impact for a low cost. That incorporated with other management actions will drastically change this landscape going forward and return it to a more natural system. Well, we had Victor come out to our place in Merivale. We contacted quite a few landholders that could come and see what he was doing as well. Victor actually did a bird on our place and shared with us so much knowledge at the time. You know, all the indicators and how to look, how to read the country, and that's what we did. It's a conservation activity of ours, so there's about 200 hectares. Most of it's fairly steep timbered country but there is some cleared land and we do a gist on that cleared country roughly once a year. So our ambition was to really just turn it back to, to nature because most of the country similar to that is grazed everywhere and to then look at the way things changed over time. It is transformative and it is in harmony with the biodiversity of that area that has been there for thousands of years. What Victor's telling us I think will work well for us more in this sort of ridgier country that you can see behind us. Like over time it hasn't been managed very well really. We've got box thorn encroaching and all the yucky things you don't want. Through Victor's regime you know he's saying that the natural grasses will come back so I think for us that that will be fairly important and it'd be good to see if it if we can achieve that. We need to start getting that landscape into that healthy level where we can see those fires again. And the only way we're going to get to that point is by getting people out on the land more constantly and more on full time looking after country and um, getting it to the point where we can see healthy landscapes again and understand which fires belong where and understand the nature of those fires and the benefits that they put into our ecosystems.